Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the return of Jeremy Courtney. And here I am. The Angry Geek Show is taking over Rhode Island Comic Con 2015. You know, for a while I thought it was 2016. Holy oh, really? crap, look at this. My first interview. I just got here. I didn't even have to find anybody. Shaken, not stirred. Sir, it's good to finally met, meet you. Well, I've seen you in your dreams. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> I always watch you when you sleep. Me and you have a lot in common. <laughs> so, Rhode Island Comic Con just got here, I'm assuming. So far, how has the day gone since you just walked in the door? Yeah, well, I've been here about an hour already. An hour? Yeah. Didn't the doors just open? Mm. Watch on. No. Well, what are we looking for today? Because I know the one, the only Miss uh, Organa decided to take the day off. Okay, Fisher, yeah. Well, she, she's not feeling well, so. No, yeah. I'll be visiting her tonight. Yeah, in her she's dreams. probably resting. <laughs> but, and I've, I've got some uh, spank oh. material for Lewis. Look at, I have this book too, but I don't have it graded like that. And signed, and signed by Mr. Capulo, uh, Greg Capulo, Green Lantern. Did not actually do the artwork, but on the cover, the artwork, fantastic stuff. I'm a big fan of Capulo myself, and uh, that, that's, how come that's going to Luke? <laughs> Green Lantern, I understand. It's okay, I already have one. I don't need yours. Looking for Tim Rose. Oh, look at you, General Akbar. Admiral, Admiral Akbar. Admiral, sorry, sorry. Uh, Navy, not Army. Yeah. But sweet, sweet. So I gotta find, I gotta I find Tim you. Rose so I can have him sign this. That's badass. That's that's pretty dope. Well, thank you. Oh, nice. I, I've got nobody on my agenda today. Like really? nothing to sign, no comics. I mean, Neil Adams is here, but I've had him sign pretty much my entire collection at this point. Yeah. And, um, oh, Michael, Michael Rooker. Well, yeah, I could have. I was also looking at uh, Chris Claremont's here. And, and oh, geez. Uh, I, the Batman Beyond voice. I see I don't names. Kevin Conroy, I hear. He's here, too. Kevin Conroy's here. Um, uh, and everybody else. Yeah. So uh, I think we're going to go talk to some people. Well, that sounds good. Sounds good. By the way, aren't you supposed to be wearing a Team Angry shirt? <laughs> I, I figured it took a year to get it. I think it'll take a year for me to wear it. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, me and Freddie, we've got some work to do. We're going to hit the con floor, and we're going to hit you back. And hopefully, at some point, Lewis, the big Hollywood star, will Limit. show up. Oh, oh, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What's going on? We, we've... Sorry. Just thought I saw the woman of my dreams. Oh. <laughs> and with that, we'll see you at the next one. Comic-Con 2015, Rhode Island Comic-Con. Here I am, all by myself. Don't want to be... But Lou had to go to work, supposedly. But... I'm going to bring you all the stuff you want to know about Rhode Island Comic Con. Now watch this. I'm just going to grab somebody random, random, out of the crowd. These people were not hired by us or trained or anything. We are going to grab... Who wants to be on a web show? Nobody. <laughs> Who wants to be on public access? Nobody. <laughs> It's weird, I'm the only person here who wants to be on public access. You look like you want to be on public access. Look at that. Hey, look, and he, you, you, you can bring him too. Look, I don't want to be on camera any more than you do, but for some reason I have to be. All right, I'm Jeremy Corney, by the way, and this is the Angry Geek Show. I'm actual press. Look, I have credentials. Oh, okay. I know, I <laughs> really, it's weird they let me in. All right, so who are you guys, and where are you from? Oh, I'm Sydney. And I'm Paul, and we're from Rhode Island. I'm from Massachusetts. I thought everybody came from like everywhere else. All right. So, Con, are you comic collectors? Yes. Yes. What do we collect? Sweet me too. I uh, not Detective Conan, Batman Volume One. But. Oh, right. and now you know your comic books. Yeah. Right. Well, what's I, missing I know the ones. from this shirt? 
right. It's number 27, Detective Comics, Tim What's missing Fence. from that shirt, guys? God, I wish I had Lou here, because he would totally point this out. Detective, I'm, uh, he's got the 27, it's the first appearance. Uh, here. Is it? Yeah. See, Hold that's on. not fair, she's giving it away. <laughs> that's me. Oh, yeah. Oh, you own this. I own this. And that's what's oh. missing right here, is the date. May 1939. May 1939. Now, what, what grade would you say? That looks like a 2.5 or something. You're very good. It's it's about that, yes. Nice, because nice. Because there's a piece of tear, there's a tear in there. The, the How much did that cost? 40 years old on the tape. We'll let her know. How much did that cost you? I got it uh, given to me by a very good friend oh, who passed man. away. Hand job or anything have to happen after out of that? Because like, <laughs> my knees would be on fire. I'd be like, yeah, buddy, banging my head against the desk. That is fantastic. But yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to say that I that, have that awesome. and I have other See, Superman magazines. I think my, my best, my lo probably like Poison Ivy would be probably be my like most fantastic first appearance, 181 Batman. But yeah, very good, but like very good. Uh, D Detective 27 would be. I, I think I would stop collecting after that. I'd be like, all right, I'm done. I I've won. <laughs> cool. Well, guys, I hope you have a lot of fun here. Thank who, you. Uh, Thank who are you here to see, actually? Anybody? Uh, we, we came to see you guys. Yes. Oh, oh, see that? Angry geeks. We bring them in. We're new. <laughs> we're, we're new to this uh, world, and we're happy to be part of it. So. Be careful. They suck you in. It's like some cult. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Have a great time, guys. Take care, guys. Thank you. And that's... Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah, uh, well, you can find it on YouTube. You can find us on YouTube, and also if you lived in Massachusetts, we're on a bunch of public access channels, like Greenfield and Ware and Palmer and South Hadley, and if the name got a name drop, make the sponsors happy. What? Oh, I have cards. That's why I bring these people. I have no memory, so they, they're like, hey. Look at that. I have a card. Bam, you can find us. Thank you very much. It looked even perfect. My face, I'm the cute guy over there. The old guy, <laughs> he, he's at work. I'm supposed to talk in the microphone when I'm talking. All right, have a great time, guys. Right, great meeting you. you. And that's how it's done here on the Anger Geek Show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rhode Island Comic Con, the Anger Geek Show. Jeremy Courtney here, and I'm here with the creator of Unit 5, whose name I completely forgot. Skip Winter. Skip, went, skip. That's. I don't even yeah, think you right. told me the names because now I'm like Skip. Oh, that's pretty cool. I've always yeah. wanted a friend named Skip. Skip, and this is Adam Wood. And he does the car. He's responsible you do the car? car? That's weird. The car. Yeah. <laughs> that's. It's kind of sexy. It is actually. I'd have to be the sleek, nice curves. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. The name of the book is Unit Five, and it's being put out by Red Anvil. And I can read, so I'm using your whole thing over there. Unit5comic.com, Facebook, bam, that's where you can find it. Now tell us what it's about. It's uh, five characters all connected to 9-11. They either lost a family member that's or, uh, yeah, or injured in the 9-11 uh, attacks. As it's kind of it like, to me. it's called a Batman meets G.I. Joe um, or a uh, Black Ops Power Rangers. But they're an anti-terror task force based in uh, New York City. Each is from one of the five boroughs. Like I said, they have kind of like a gadget, it's like a Batman. Sweet, sweet. All right, now you also told me that you can, this is being distributed through Diamond. So guys, you don't even have to go to the website. You can just go to your LCS and be like, hey, I'd like to check out Unit 5 from Red Anvil. And your dude who's ever at your LCS should be able to go to his book and be like, all right, I got that. So do it. One and two are out right now. These guys are stoked. They're here at Rhode Island Comic Con. I'm guessing it must be a pretty good book because you don't usually just see sponsors for a book that's like crappy. I'm going to find Smith out after. It. Kevin oh, Smith Kevin Smith. It. We're name dropping Kevin Smith. So we have some big fans. Don't worry. My, my, There's a short my, film. My uh, co-host was just on their show. Oh, so, nice. Oh, on yeah. Comic Book Man? So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know Mike and Ming real well. It, me too. I, I'm, 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 I, I uh, bought a collection from Walt a while back. Oh, nice. I know, yeah, Walt. Yeah, yeah. I know all those guys really well. But if you Google Unit 5 Drift... Uh, you can see our short film, which premiered on Kevin's Smodco Network. So, a lot of good stuff going on here. People don't know it. We're, we're in talks with some pretty heavy-duty people. Skip, too. That's right. That's cool. Unit 5, guys. Check it out.
What's going on with you? I some, uh, uh, commissions, commissions, commissions. Uh, yeah, man. This is where this is where I like to be because uh, it's like I get to meet all the fans and you know talk about the books that I did and stuff. Um, you'd rather really get the email. Hey, I'd like this drawn. Okay, and send it off. <laughs> Believe me, I feel the same way. Yeah, well, you know, no, sometimes no. I like it. They they come up with some pretty cool ideas. You know, they're not making them onto the covers, but you know, it's like. They, they come up with some ideas that they would like to see on a book, and, and these blank covers are perfect for that. So, well, I, I'm seeing right now we got Slave Lair. How do you feel about Disney's choice to get rid of the Slave Lair? Uh, We're not allowed to talk about Disney. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, uh, <laughs> what, what do we got going? I, I, I know you do a lot of work for heavy metal and stuff. Or any, what's coming up? Uh, well, I. Did the heavy metal cover that obviously, uh, but uh, no more video games. I'm uh, doing a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, 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 what game we were now? We allowed to say uh, one that most people got to see was uh, Adara that I did for Microsoft. Yeah. So when that uh, that's a pretty old game now, but I designed the characters on that one. Uh, also concept art for uh, Lego Ninjago. And, uh, my, my son appreciates you. <laughs> That's interesting. Wow, I didn't know that. Are, are you working on one that you can talk about now, or uh, no? No. When it comes to game stuff, no. They, they never let me talk about that. That, that sucks. It's just, oh my god! On, you know, it's like <laughs> year <laughs> after it's been released. Oh, dude. I, I worked. Oh, who are you? I, I drew all that. How come we haven't heard from you before then? <laughs> Screw you guys. I'm going home. I love you. <laughs> Well, Ron, as always, it's a pleasure. Thank you yep. for being on. If there's anything you'd like to plug, do it now. Uh, me? Yeah, not Rhode Island Comic Con, day number two for me. I don't know where Jeremy is. I send him here by himself, he's out, and I am with a legend from my childhood, the one and only Mike Grow, who I always called the great favorite uncle of the Green Arrow, but we're not gonna talk about Green Arrow. We're gonna talk about- We're not. Well, we're gonna talk about Arrow, but we, we also, no, Jeremy. <laughs> you can't get good help these days, sir, I swear, anyhow. You had not only the Arrow brought to TV, you had Sable brought to TV. It was, how does it feel to see creations and things that you worked on brought to life? It's a real kick in the pants. It really is. Um, I really appreciate the job that they did on the Arrow TV series. The shout outs were really cool. Um, Judge Grell. Judge Grell. My, my niece said, Uncle Mike, you're famous. And I said, sweetie, I've been famous for 40 years. You just never noticed before. And then she said, so uh, do they have to pay you to use the name? I said, if you're mean, am I going to die and make you rich? No. I tell that to my kids all the time. It's, it's a pleasure to have you on. What's, I mean, what one character that you have not drawn, what would you like to work on? Captain America. Really? Really, really. Wow. Why? That, that's like, I'm like, I'm a DC guy, but why Cap? One of the very first comics I ever saw in my life was my dad's copy of Captain America that I found in his army footlocker that he brought home from World War II. That's impressive. Holy cow. And, and that'll pretty well do it. Yes, it will. Captain America has got to be the quintessential American hero. Uh, my, my approach to it would be different from what they're doing right now, and I'm thinking about making a pitch. I, You have the Angry Geeks support for that, sir. Out of all the heroes, uh, out of uh, Sa Sable, out of Warlord, out of Arrow, hint, hint, what was your favorite? Green Arrow has always been my favorite comic book character, period. Whether it's my version, somebody else's version, or whatever. Um, and if we're if we're talking about characters that I created, I'd have to I'd have to pick Sable. I'll hang my hat on that. But of the the books that I've worked on, the the Green Arrow title, Longbow Hunters, 
long bow hunters. I'll, Ways in tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll stack long bow hunters up against anything else that's out there. I have four copies of all three issues because I had to read one. And I am a collector, so I put it away. That was outstanding. I mean, is can you do a sequel maybe? Uh, not terribly likely because in case you hadn't noticed, I'm kind of an old guy. And un no! Unfortunately, unfortunately, in comics, when you reach a certain age, like over 40, you're pretty much over the hill and you get the boot out the door and the phone stops ringing. That, all right, I, I did notice that trend and that is a mistake because you are a legend. Look at your stuff. I mean, without you, we wouldn't have Arrow on TV today. So I think the, uh, DC and WB should take notice. Thank you. I'll take that. Thank you. We wasted enough of your time. You were getting a line here, sir. It was a pleasure. Thank, thank you for even talking to me yesterday. It was, it was the best. <laughs> Louis, I'm gonna go find Jeremy because he's probably getting arrested again. For the, uh, we gotta bail him out again. We gotta bail Jeremy out again. Uh, so you know Jeremy. Yeah. Get, get the dog pound on the line. Tell him whatever you do, don't euthanize him. We'll be down in a few minutes to pick him up. Okay. My girl's coming with me. See ya.